Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and it's Easter Sunday for those who celebrate Easter. So happy Easter and not happy Easter to those who don't. It's all good. So today it's early in the morning and I really did just feel like coming on and doing a bit of collaging, I think, um, for the document journals. Where are they? Here's, here's just to remind you these ones. So they are a bit Eastery. Well, yes, they are. But um, I still want to continue on and finish them. So I'll probably do most of it off camera. <coughs> but I will do some today and tomorrow. Oh, no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is Medieval Mirage Monday. Um, because um, I want to finish them. So... Um, they're not too overly eastery, but anyway, they could really be used as a spring journal too. So I have all these old bits of paper that have been kind of causing me grief over here in my little box, flying about everywhere. And you probably, well, some of you wouldn't know that if you're new, um, gross, um, but my mum, I sent her out a kit a couple of years ago and um, she made a document style journal. It was the first time she'd ever, I'm gonna take off the really dirty bits, um, that she'd ever made um, anything like that. And she had made these really cool tags with the old documents. So um, I think I'm gonna do that with all of these bits, old documents and the old rag paper. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I've got all, see, I've got all these wormy papers that need to go somewhere. I'll take that bit off there. So we'll do the collaging first and then we'll make a couple of things. They could also be pockets. Actually, you know what would be a clever idea, I think, or to start off with anyway. Um, my eye is still causing me grief. Every time I blink, it hurts. Um, so I've been taking antihistamines for the last three days. And I, well, the good thing about them, I'll tell you what, I have really bad jet lag. Um, I know I've been back for a week, week and, and then today will be week and one day, um, because I don't sleep a lot, like I only sleep normally about five hours, and then I sort of, it's, you know, that I call it the sleep with one eye open, <laughs> when you sort of lie in bed, but you're, you're kind of resting, but you're aware of everything around you, so you're not really sleeping, um, that's me. And so because of that, that's why it takes me so long to get over jet lag because I don't have those big long haul sort of sleeps. And um, whereas Steph and Lulu, who can sleep 12 hours in a row, they get over it really quickly. Um, so I put the glue on here, but where I overlap, I will need to add a bit more glue. So, um, so anyway, so I, I got Steph to, because I wasn't sleeping hardly at all when I came back from Australia, I had Steph, why did I put glue up there? I don't know. I had Steph go and, um, and buy, I said, Tim, buy the strongest melatonin that you can. So he bought, it was five MGs. Um, he bought it, but honestly, it didn't really do much at all. And then this ha thing happened to my eye, and I um, and so I've been taking because um, Steph has a chronic um, allergy, so he takes antihistamines every few days. He's done every test under the sun. Just don't let's not even go there. He's test he's done everything, tested lungs, heart. Had he's even had the thing where he goes in the thing and they look at his whole body, everything. I can't remember a cat scan. What do you call that? I don't know. I, something like that. Um, anyway, so I, I've been taking his, I have had the best sleeps, although it makes, I'm pretty, a bit tired now because of it, but I have had the best sleeps having those antihistamines. It's been wonderful. Now this is looking very patchy, but it's all going to be cut up into little taggy sort of things. I just need to get that and I'll just do a wrap around there. Why not? And of course, I've got lots of um, little pieces. I do want to put a little bit of script in somewhere. I might just glue that sort of overlapping all of them. You know, these were some of my very damaged papers that I have 
that I like to keep. I can't throw anything out. So I think over this next week, because I have way too much stuff and my goal is to always, you know, when I, when I add stuff or anything to my collection is to always have a space to put it. And so when I feel like there's no more room, I de-stash it a bit. So I will be doing putting together some collage packs um, over the next week. But I, pro I won't video it. I don't normally video when I put... Well, sometimes I do. I, I video when I need to feel like I need to explain something. And that's what I did with the paper, paper packs the other day because I hadn't opened them. I wasn't, I didn't know exactly what was in them, but I knew that they were going to be good. Um, and so I felt like I needed to explain that with a video. Um, but normally, quite often, I just put things in. So if you follow um, the shop, then you'll, you get the little um, notifications. See, that didn't take too long. We're going to do another one. I think I'll do it until I have not enough papers. Because that you can always put them in your to-do drawer and um, finish them off. It's always good to have a little bit of a session, I think. Um, yep, so just keep your eyes up. There won't be many. Um, so, yeah, and and people were disappointed about the other packs, but I only had, I only put in eight. There weren't, it wasn't like I put in 50. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, I don't always have a lot of certain things. Now, I'm hoping to go to Florence soon too, which will be good. I haven't been there for a while. We go periodically because we still have friends there. We meet up with some of our other, one, of, you know, Steffi's bestie boos from uni. They're still his best friends. It's always fun. It's all, we sort of, it's like a, a second home. Well, for me, it's like a third home because then there's, of course, Australia. But I do feel like I've, I've come home when I go to Florence. That one there. Now these were this was just from a hinge page and it were, I adjusted it to the size of a journal and um, now aren't I ridiculous but I'm gonna put that there I think it's not quite overlapping which is okay um, look at that and you get the two tones of color now of course if you don't have the you know oh you might have some older book pages that you could use to do this. Um, you might have some vintage writing. If I had some scraps of vintage writing, I'd be putting that in there. Well, here we go. This is vintage. This is not super old. We'll glue that one down. Um, let me just run a bit of glue along this edge. Oh, which side do I like more? I think I'll keep the one with the more writing. I know you probably think I'm mad, but that's what I'm going to keep. Okay. Yeah, you can use anything, really. You could just use um, a variety of pages too. Like you don't have to have document sort of things. Got a chunky bit there. See, and they will just curl out, hopefully, in theory, and stick down. So what's happening today? We're, we're going to have Easter here. My mother-in-law's coming. Well, that <laughs> I was actually kind of instructed this is what was happening, but that's okay because I've, it's, you know, it's, we prefer that it's, it's fine um and she she did bring over the lamb and i i slow cooked it overnight um just you know um just with some stock and some uh just some cut up herbs i think i'll put that there um i can't get my words out i'm sorry guys my brain's still waking up kind of it's a bit of a, a ding dong brain today um yep so i cooked that overnight because it needed to slow cook for 10 hours and so that's really good all we have to do is some roast potatoes and she's bringing over fresh pasta and um fresh pasta and we'll be doing tagliatelle i don't know what will be on the tagliatelle mm. excuse me i had a sip of coffee she goes out um in the fields up at the house her parents' house, which we're hoping to obtain, although, you know, we've got the one sister still causing grief. Um, if we do, that's going to be a whole other project. I'm, it, I'm trying not to think about it and get too excited about it because it's, it may not happen because of the difficulties between the two. So, um, anyway, 
she may have been up um, collecting, she gets um, mushrooms, they're called prugnoli, and uh, she's a mushroom expert, so I don't think we're going to be poisoned. <laughs> um, if we are, my mother-in-law did it. <laughs> I shouldn't be giggling about that, but it is, it's funny. Um, so yeah, so we'll probably have that, and then she picks it, get goes in the fields and gets this green stuff. I don't know. It's called strigoli. I don't know what they are um, in English. I don't think there's a name. It's some sort of green stuff. You know, green, green. I don't know. It's not spinach. It's green stuff. I don't know what you call it. Leafy stuff. And it's really yummy, actually, in the pasta. And probably for Lulu, she'll do um, just a simple, some peas. Now, she gets um, the peas at the beginning of the season and um, my father-in-law has to peel them all, get all the peas out. And I said to him, said to Corrado, it's it's time for the, it's pea season. It's coming up. Are you ready for it? And because he complains, um, but he likes eating them though. And, um, and yeah, I said, it's pea season. Not that one. And he's, and Maria goes, I've ordered 10 kilos and I said, oh, Corrado, good luck with that. <laughs> Poor thing. I said, I'm not coming to do that. 10 kilos of peas, that's terrible. But we all enjoy, we do all enjoy eating them. It's rather fitting that I'm gluing on Vatican, the old Vatican magazine. I did keep the pages that I liked. Sorry, I'm just swooshing my glue along. Thoroughly enjoying it. So we said, look, it's amazing that that little pile of papers is doing. Maybe I'll go this way now. Um, it doesn't really matter, I guess, because I do put them in different directions. Um, it's amazing how many you can get out of it. I only want, really want the bits with the writing on them so when it's something like that I'll put it in that direction put that one up there just because I'll overlap and then I'm over really only overlapping onto the um, plain paper I probably didn't need to put glue all over it because I've got glue on here actually I think I'm going to change my mind and no oh yeah I think I'm going to change my mind and go like this I'm going to do a wrap around there Oh, actually, I can just trim that off. Oh, no, I'll wrap it because I put glue. I didn't wrap the other one because I didn't put glue on that one. Oh, my gosh, and I knew I would do that, but it wasn't too sticky. And then I thought I might stick that one there over that bit. It's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. So I try to start, um, and for anyone who's new, I've done videos on this sort of thing before. I do try to start with um, slightly bigger pieces if I can. Sometimes you can't. That's plain. I won't put plain on. I have this grainy piece. Let's just take that bit off. So I think I'll put that one there. So I can probably just lock it in. I know that's dirty, but I'm actually going to collage over the top of that. I'm not worried about it. It's a bit dirty for me. So I'll put something. Some bits will go over that. Oh, I haven't got any of this. Let's put that. I might put that there. So that, those, those crumbly, crumbly, dirty um, ephemera bits are some of my favourite bits to use because they're not precious. I don't feel like I need to hoard them. Well, I kind of do have little feelings of ho hoarding, but um, not as bad as with other pieces. I was just trying to remember where was I going to put it. There. Good idea to use your little, your, your, or your big bone folder for that when you've got this type of lacy sort of paper 
and then I need a little bit of paper down there. I'll put zip. Don't, we don't throw anything out. This is going to be good. So what has everyone been up to? I have been um, flapping about a little bit, and um, and what else have I? I've sort of been doing a little bit of stitching. Um, packaging orders here and there I could put that let's put that right there I've put started to put together a needle book because I got the needle book kit from um, Beck from so be curated when I was there um, you would have seen the the kit when we showed when we we're at the her shop and um, and so I just last night I just after dinner I just started putting one together so I'll share that at a later date I've, it's sort of in the beginning phases I feel like this piece needs a little something else no I think I'll leave it okay I'll trim all of that off afterwards and we'll do one more I think I can get one more grab another big piece of paper to glue on oh dear dear I knew that was going to happen one day. I've got my a video on pause and I knew that one day it would just take off in the middle of my, when I'm doing a video. And then I promise we will get on to the working in the journal. Okay, so I'll do another one that way. Let's see what we have here. We have this. Oh, what side do I like? I like both sides, but I think I'll use this one. that on there okay and then have this going in a different direction so I just need to put a little bit of glue here I might put it down there actually so they glue out because otherwise what am I going to do with these I might as well do some big collage bigger collage master boardy sort of things and then I can cut them up see I could get another one out of all of this stuff but I won't and that's going to be perfect there I won't because we'll move on and do something else I think can do another one off camera okay so let's just trim off to keep all of those bits it's just really nice to get all the bits onto something too love them oh we did four. Oh, that's wonderful and I've got I can do I can definitely do one more, but I'll do that later. This is plain, I think, so we can use that as, on the back. Okay, so I'm going to put those aside to dry for a minute because they don't do well cutting them when they're a bit wet. I'll just close my glue and then we're going to 
I did it a bit in the other journal and I want to replicate it a bit in this because I kind of work on them simultaneously. So I've done the pocket in that one. Um, I put a little tab up there and I did this lovely pocket, which I really like. So I think I will do that in the other one. Okay, so I think we'll do one of those with this fabric here. Actually, I've got to get some of the glue off my fingers because I don't like the feeling of it. Okay, and I put that just up over here in my little in a little bucket because otherwise I tend to um, put it on. You know, maybe I'll put it on a digit or something, and then and then it. Um, so I've added that there. Um, I think I did that with you guys. I've got to cover that up. I think I'll add this pocket here. So I need to get a piece of fabric. Do it a bit taller than what I need. And then I need to grab... Oh, here we go. I've got a left... This is what's left over from the other one. So I need to grab a pencil. Now I'm going to put a little um, folded bit so it's not a tight pocket, but I, I, I could have folded this over, but I didn't because it's... Um, it's a, you know, it's a bit of a cracky sort of paper. I don't want the paper to crack. So what I'm going to do now is glue this on there. And I've done my fabric a bit wider because I'm going to do a wrap around. Put the fabric up there. And I'm just going to grab some glue paper and use this glue stick glues fabric very well as long as you put enough on it actually I think I want it that way Now, this piece here, I'm actually going to glue that down there, but I just need to cut that out. That's just going to make it so the pocket's nice and strong. It's not going to tear. Ah, oh, yes, I need to do that first. And then I need to grab some leftover bits here that I can. Oh, I've got some. Here's a piece of straw paper. That's good. It's a bit wide. glue that one on there so that way this makes the pocket um, well first of all it allows it to be a little bit wider because you're not putting the glue directly on here so you can you've got all of that space there to slide something in but it also makes it not quite as a, it's not such a tight pocket Plenty of straw paper strips. I'll just move those scissors out of the way, otherwise I tend to go and grab those. A bit wide.
okay I'm not snipping um, that one at an angle just because I can see that it's it's not going to poke it it's not going to poke out so now I'm going to grab my just grab my wet glue which is a bit easier and just put some glue on here and yeah, sometimes I forget got to go across the bottom as well Being careful not to put too much glue. And then put that on there. And this needs a little bit of glue. It's also helping this document that's a bit mm -hmm, on the edge. Actually, I will make a tag out of that. A little tag. This, yep that's sticking down and you've got this nice pocket there okay so another thing I would like to do is I've got this gorgeous I thought this is lovely and bright and springy um, trim here I can't remember where I don't know where it came from and I'm thinking I'm going to go here and put a belly band and have it wrap around oh there it is so just cut a piece a bit longer than what you need just so happy to be back in here guys I know it doesn't seem didn't seem like it so much last week because I was I have been struggling but it's just the tiredness it's just I just need to have a little bit of a sleep that's all and I'm getting that now with the antihistamines the only thing is they make do make you um, a bit groggy Now where's my oh here it is now it's not coming out the top here so i i need i'm taking this off if i can yep and it's got a nice little nozzle there as well so what i'm going to do oh i need to have it come down this is the flash bond just with this sort of thing i want a super strong glue gosh it smells I can even smell it through this little teeny tiny nozzle I'll leave it lying down I don't because it normally because it's been um, spewing out but it'll be all right now because it's not full I'm gonna have some along here I didn't really need to put it there, but I'm going to because it is going to wrap around. And I'll just use this glue for that. There, I put a little bit too much, so I'll just wipe that off. Can close that back up again. Okay, let's grab the wet one. Right, and we've got an instantaneous belly band. So I'm going to leave that open there to dry. We've done the pocket there. I mean, these are a, a slow process for me. Um, don't worry, I will go through them. We've done them many, many times. Um, there's lots of things to add. There's nothing there. I think I'll add a, a, like a thinner sort of lace across there. Um, so I get a pocket but it's also you can write on there as well so that's that but what I wanted to do now is of course we did the collage thing so I wanted to just cut one up maybe and uh, see what we can get out of it maybe I'll cut this one this one is really interesting so 
Um, I think I'll cut it in half. Oh, well, let's see how big it is. Eight, so four. And then do some little, just mum, mum did these really cool little tags and things out of them. And I think I just want to have a go at that today. They're not exactly half extra. I might do that one smaller because I don't want everything the same size. Okay, so my first job is to scratch my head. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to add some paper on the reverse side for writing. So let's fold that up. I'll just give that a tear if I can. Yes. And glue that on the other side. So note to yourselves, this is you're going to be writing on a piece of 1600s paper. Yes, that's super cool, isn't it? I'm very sad because those I, I have more, a few more. I, I don't know how many more of the books, but um, they will eventually run out, which is sad. Uh, now this piece. I use that piece somewhere. I might use that in a bit of collaging, maybe. I could stick, oh, I could stick that down there. Oh, I've got to move those scissors out of my vision because I just go to grab them all the time. That's crooked, but I think I'm going to glue that there and then another piece. Do I have a narrower one? No. Well, maybe I won't use that one. I've got this piece. This is going to be good. Which is wider, this one. Put that on there. Oh, it's perfect. Just fold it there on that crease. That crease. And tear it off. Of glue there, we don't want that. So that's that one, and then we've I oh know that's just a plain one. We've got that and that. I know I had plenty of bits and pieces of well, I think I did. Here we go, we can use this one on both. So that can go on there. I'm just going to put a marking there and I'll probably just trim it. So that will go on there. I'll flip it over because you can see my little markings. Let's put that in the rubbish. It's very sticky. and then this one because it's all a bit lacy down there I can't have it on anything that's sticky because it will just rip off it might even just rip off it, you know, like a little bit just ripped off now um, because oh no it's okay it didn't stick Okay. Right. Now. 
what do we want to do with them? I think I want to make them all a tag shape. Actually, I could... Well, I wonder where my card is. That I didn't do too bad a job on that one, I don't think. Oh, that corner's already gone. There it is. Let's do it with this. Just makes life a bit easier, doesn't it? Sprouting scissors again. Okay, now let's see. Some of the other ones I might even make smaller things because just because they're cute. Um, I'm going to add scraps of things. Scraps of fabric. I think I'll add maybe there. Oh no, maybe at the I think I'll add that one at the top. And there's the piece of paper that's gone on there. So that's just gonna add to the top of this one. I'm not gonna fold it over, it's just gonna stick out at the top. And what else do I have? I've got lots of bits and pieces over here. throw anything away. I'm going to put that there. That is gorgeous. And I'm going to punch a hole in this one. And I know I've got a bit of, I can see a bit of um, old, um, not old, some seam binding sticking out from over there so I think I might put that through it's just sticking out of a box here I'm just going to grab a bit of it I just think this is going to be very pretty I might not even add anything we'll, we'll audition a few things I'm just going to give it one tie like that oh no maybe I'll do two Yep, that's okay. And have that sticking out the top. This all, like, look at all these scraps that I just have. I keep a, a basket here in front of me with a pile of things. I think I'll put that one there, and I might do a little wrap around with that. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to punch a hole. This one I might put it at the top, something at the top. Um, oh. I'm going to put this. Oh, 
Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to put that up there. I'll just put the glue on here. I want a lot of glue so it doesn't come off. I don't want to put a stapler in it this time. You can if you're worried about it, but I'm not going to. Pop that. Okay, let me clean my fingers. And then, oh, that one I think I've, I can see a lace here. I'm not sure if it's too wide, but I think I may put some of this through. That I will staple. Where's my stapler? Oh dear. Because I did tidy up. Oh, there it is. Before I went away. Oh, I just dropped some stuff in the rubbish. I'll get that afterwards. Perfect. Oh, yes, I like those colours too. So we've got these. Um, and I did, mum, because mum's a textile artist, um, she did put a lot of, you know, she did put the textiles on, which I really loved. And then I just want to go over here and see if I want to add any form of, I may not, there, I reinforce those, but something, I was thinking maybe something metal. But as I said, I may decide not to. Or I could go into my Victorian fussy cuts. I love those as well with this sort of thing. Maybe, maybe not. I'll just cut this one out. I'll tell you what I would love is that um, sort of um, grey tone bunny that I have in... I do put that I like that one more oh she's quite cute on there I think I'll put her that's not too Eastery too I like that so let's just double check in here what I have oh I need to make myself an ephemera ephemera holder for this sort of thing too I've got that let's just pull those out I may or may not want them I want to find if I've got one of the more grey toned bunnies i tell you what my my troops are that one i want that one but it's too big that one so i need to find a smaller one um i still sleeping i think i need to go and get them up also because these are tags too you can just take them out put them in another one if you didn't want it there we go Oh, no, it's the same size, ding dong. Um, if you didn't want to, um, you know, make it an Easter journal. There we go. This is what I'm looking for, that one. I pulled out a few things. Now, I'll just cut this out first, and then I'll decide if I want to keep the grassy bit or not. I feel like it needs something else. Oh, someone's up there making coffee. Yes, I'm going to put that there. It did need something else, in my opinion. Just a little pop of colour. I could have used actually a washi tape too. That could have been good. I forget about my washi tapes. Put that there. Oh, this is all sticky. Um, oh gosh, this must be a super long video. But I'm having too much fun, guys. I'm having some Easter. Easter Sunday fun. Oh, look what I did to the ears. He's earless. So that is just an old illustration of a rabbit. 
going to put it there. We're celebrating the lovely papers behind because we're not covering them all. Isn't that cute? Okay, my finger's off. Use this to stick it down. There we go. So that one is done. I love that. I feel like I might like a staple in there. I could do that afterwards. I think I like her on there, so I'm going to lock her in. Now my glue is sprouting. Look at this. Look at that. What I do is I smoosh that onto whatever I'm gluing. Not this one because she was too small. She's perfect on there. I like the colours. And that's just springy. So that's good. So that's those two now. Oh, yes, I love that. I could even just leave it as it is. But you know me. I probably won't. I did love this. No. Nope. I don't mind that one. Actually, I quite like that one. I, I think I might have liked that one too, but no, it's too big. So I'm going to go with this one. But what I will do first is go around the edges with this. Actually, you know what? I could trim a bit more off too. I didn't do a very good job with this one. I probably did a very whizzy cut. Okay, just very carefully go around the edge. This is 942, it's a Tombow brush pen. It's very subtle, just takes the stress out of fussy cutting. because that will pretty much blend in now when you glue it down. Put that on there and then squish it. that's going to annoy me so I just snip that off cute and then this one we needed to decide about that one I don't want any of these big things put those back over there and I wasn't convinced about those I think they're a bit small um, see that would have been nice but that's been reinforced I just want to pop over here to my Victorian fussy cuts here they are and I think I'll just put something a bit florally on there been in here for a while. Well, I always loved that one. I think that's going to be gorgeous. That was a quick decision, but now I need to cut it out. I just wiggle my paper around and do a rough cut. I don't worry about it too much. I'm not here for perfection, just for fun. Okay, so again, I'll go around that quickly with my Tombow. Move this over because it's very sticky. Then you don't have, feel like you have to get into all the bits and cut them out because they do just blend in. Okay. If I leave that glue on the side there, it will just, um, I won't be able to get the lid off. That's how strong the glue is. Oh, I love that. Gorgeous, inspired by my mama. 
with the bit of textile on there. So isn't that pretty? And we will uh, come and address the other one, do a bit more in another video, but that is it for today. And then we did, we did this pocket, which is super pretty. And I could come in and staple something on there and I probably will. I may put a tab up here. Um, oh, I put that little pocket in there. That's just a side tuck. And then this, which just wraps around like that. So there we go. And then we have these cute little tags that will go in the journals as well. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Have a wonderful day. Whether you celebrate or don't celebrate, have a wonderful day regardless. And I will see you again tomorrow for Medieval Mirage Monday. Bye.